the rothschilds performing arts center and the patil theater. you cannot imagine how excited and thrilled we are to be here tonight. all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players to have their exits and their entrances and one man in his time plays many parts. on december twelfth nineteen seventy two the French branch of the Rothschild family threw an extravagant masquerade ball. He was the god of masquerade, which means seeing things literally other than they are. Masquerade, every face a different shade. Masquerade, look around, there's another mask behind you. The orgiastic worship of Dionysus seems to have been first established in Thrace and to have then spread southward to Mounts Helicon and Panassus, to Thebes, Naxos and throughout Greece, Sicily and Italy, though some writers derived it from Egypt. Masquerade, hide your face so the world will never find you. The Rothschild banking dynasty made their fortune through usury, predatory loans financing war and slavery worldwide. This inbred family of brutal war profiteers are masters of disguise, hiding their true identity, concealing their vast financial power and influence from the public. In fact, since about 1800, they have funded both sides of almost every war. And of course, they're getting the interest off of the loans that they've given the various governments and the wars that they have actually helped stimulate and create. World War I had begun. Armaments companies financed by Rothschild-controlled banks in Germany, France, England, and Austria bankrolled all the factions, experts at hiding their empire behind puppet governments and councils. The Rothschilds worked with Belgium's King Leopold, financing his enslavement of the entire Congo and subsequent murder of an estimated 14 million Congolese. From an early stage, the Rothschilds also had major mining interests, beginning in the 1830s, with their acquisition of the Spanish mercury mines of Almaden, and expanding dramatically in the 1880s and 1890s, when they invested in mines producing gold, copper, diamonds, rubies, and oil. Like their original financial business, this was an authentically global operation extending from South Africa to Burma, from Montana to Baku. The value of all the resources, diamonds, gold, and wealth they swindled from humanity pales in comparison to their ultimate theft, the greatest identity theft the world has ever known. Banking, the third Lord Rothschild once remarked, consists essentially of facilitating the movement of money from point A, where it is, to point B, where it is needed. All banks have histories, though not all have their histories researched and written. Only the Rothschilds, however, have a mythology. The world's bankers. The Rothschilds are the wonders of modern banking. We see the descendants of Judah, after a persecution of 2,000 years, peering above kings, rising higher than emperors, and holding a whole continent in the hollow of their hands. Rothschilds govern a Christian world. Not a cabinet moves without their advice. They stretch their hand with equal ease from Petersburg to Vienna, from Vienna to Paris, from Paris to London, from London to Washington. Baron Rothschild, the head of the house, is the true king of Judah, the prince of the captivity, the Messiah so long looked for by this extraordinary people. He holds the keys of peace or war, blessing or cursing. They are the brokers and counselors of the kings of Europe and of the Republican chiefs of America. What more can they desire? Niles Weekly Register, 1835 to 36. In reality, not only do the Rothschilds reject Yahshua as their Messiah, but they do not adhere to Torah. Instead, they venerate the pyramid and the all-seeing eye of Osiris. Preacher and Republican politician Pat Robertson's book, The New World Order, published in 1991, states that the Rothschilds were polluted by the occultism of illuminated Freemasonry. This is Israel's Supreme Court building. 
It was designed, bought, and paid for by the Rothschilds. Polluted by the occultism of illuminated Freemasonry. Polluted by the occultism of illuminated Freemasonry. The U.S. Federal Reserve notes are not federal at all, but instead are privately owned by the Rothschilds and are covered in Masonic satanic symbolism. Polluted by the occultism of illuminated Freemasonry. So you have to ask yourself, why would the children of Israel still be honoring the God of Pharaoh roughly 4,000 years after God and Moses delivered them from slavery in Egypt. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. It was this masquerade that was the inspiration for the Stanley Kubrick film, Eyes Wide Shut. The film was an attempt to shed light on the Dionysian sex cults, which are pervasive amongst the banking and royal elite. Cellini, Pans, Satyrs, Centaurs, and other beings of a like kind are also the constant companions of the god. The temples and statues of Dionysus were very numerous in the ancient world. Among the sacrifices which were offered to him in the earliest times, human sacrifices are also mentioned. After Dionysus had thus proved to the Thebans that he was a god, he made the women mad to such a decree that they killed their own babes and devoured their flesh. After intense conflict between Stanley Kubrick and Warner Brothers over scenes that the film company wanted to edit out, conveniently, Stanley Kubrick suffered from a mysterious and untimely death six days before showing his final cut to Warner Brothers Pictures. So of course, the film company got their way and the scenes were cut. Cult initiation has four stages in the Dionysiac cults. First, one person must conceive the desire to join and then apply. This is followed by the preparation period of which the cult decides. Then the sacred rites were performed and finally, the person is integrated with other initiates. These things were kept secret. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. No eye shall see him disguise of his face. The hypnotizing world of picture television brings us the news of the world through two central news agencies called Reuters and the Associated Press. The Rothschilds bought Reuters in the 1800s, which later bought the Associated Press and made the Rothschild family owners of the world's largest central news services. The whole identity is a facade, a masquerade hiding the faces of imposters. The synagogue of Satan. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges they love. If not, where and who is he? To the present day, the world depends on these Rothschild-owned central news services as their main source of news and information. Waiting for the twilight, saying, No eye shall see thee, and disguiseth his faith. And they began to worship demons. Demons, devils, will, they're opportunists. And any opportunity they have, they'll seize upon. The private central bankers of Europe, in particular the Rothschilds of Great Britain, the Warburgs of Germany, met with their American financial collaborators on Jekyll Island, Georgia, to form a new banking cartel with the express purpose of forming the third bank of the United States, with the aim of placing complete control of the United States money supply once again under the control of private bankers. When Dionysus had grown up, Hera threw him also into a state of madness in which he wandered about through many countries of the earth. The Federal Reserve, in order to grant the new bank a quasi-governmental image, is full of people. But in fact, it is a privately owned bank. It's no more federal than Federal Express. Who say that they made a leap General with Electric, the devil. Time Warner, and the devil's kept his part of the Disney, bargain. and News Corp. 
These media monopolies are owned directly or indirectly by the Rothschild, J.P. Morgan, Rockefeller, and Oppenheimer Brotherhood. The family has had lots of different interests in all sorts of different fields. I think the famous ones are probably wine and of course the ownership of the two great Bordeaux vineyards, Chateau Mouton Rothschild and Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, which are still in family ownership, which were acquired in the 19th century. Dionysus, the youthful, beautiful, but effeminate god of wine. He is also called both by Greeks and Romans Bacchus, Born again by the grace of God. And it's a wonderful sight to see. Father, I pray now that you'd anoint the messenger as this holy word goes forth. And it will not return into you void, but it will accomplish that which you please. It will prosper in the thing until you've sent it. That Jesus Christ is the Lord of glory and that his way is right. That's an, it's coming a day when that kind of spirit is going to rule. But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing on the right hand of God, and said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. All things by necessity must work together for good. The purpose of humanity is to fear God and to keep His commandments. It will be a glorious day when we all get to heaven. Calling upon God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. If you're born again, let the spirit of life which of Christ Jesus dwell in you. Let that power dwell in you. Rejoice in your victory. Rejoice in Christ. Shout hallelujah. Praise God. When we fear God, the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. No matter what. When I think of the goodness. I want you all to keep the faith. And all he has done for me. And never give up hope. My soul cries out hallelujah. Hallelujah. I may never see another day in this world. Who is like unto God? God may call me out of here before the sun goes down. If he does, I'm prayed up. We love you, Lord. I'm prayed up. The righteous shall dwell in the land forever. The meek, the gentle, the patient, the kind shall finally be the ones that inherit this troubled planet. God bless you all. So learn to be patient and gentle with one another. In Jesus' name. In thy blessed name I pray. Amen.